Hello, Daz Studio Enthusiasts. This is not from this world, and I want to welcome you back to another Daz tutorial. Now, today I wanted to talk a little bit about using Genesis 3 clothing and props on my Genesis 8 character. And so I've got my Milica character. Remember, she is a Genesis 8. But what I want to do is I want to make her into Harley Quinn. And it turns out that Daz Studio has a pretty good Harley Quinn outfit, makeup, and character. The only problem with this character is it is a Genesis 3. And Milica obviously is a Genesis 8. So I thought I would just show you how easy it is to pretty much convert anything that's Genesis 3 into Genesis 8. Now, I bought uh, this Harley Quinn character. Uh, her name is Haley off of Daz Studio quite a while ago, and I've actually created some comics and a few single pictures using this character, and she's pretty good. Um, I actually ended up just buying this bundle and the bundle has everything that you can think of. So it has the character, uh, the outfit, the clothes, the hair, jewelry, poses, everything. So we can add pretty much everything to, from this Genesis 3 character onto our Genesis 8. And it's really simple. If you haven't tried it before, uh, you know, you can usually just purchase Genesis 3 clothing, hair, and props, and just put them on your Genesis 8 character. So look at this. If you are interested in Harley Quinn, look at the price of this. It has severely dropped. I know this is September 14th, 2023. This product used to be $78, and now it's down to $16. And the reason for that, of course, is it's Genesis 3. So what do we do with a Genesis 3 character? Well, we put it on our Genesis 8. All right, so I've got Milica. And with Milica, I am going to first add that Harley Quinn outfit. And the outfit, uh, once you download it, it goes into... Uh, your products under T because it's called the traced outfit. So traced outfit for Genesis 3 females. And I am just going to click on the entire wardrobe. So I have Milica selected. I'm just going to click on this and it's going to think about it and it's going to come up with this auto fit. Now with the auto fit, we just need to uh, first tell what the character was originally uh, designed for, which would be Genesis 3 female. And then it says, what type of item is it? I'm going to hit full body clothing. And when I hit that and then hit accept, it's going to move through each clothing item and ask to fit it. So I just have to keep saying for each item that it's a Genesis 3 female and it's a full body and hit accept and then it'll just keep doing this until it reads every item of the clothing all right so i'm just going to do this again full body reads it this is the jacket once the jacket's done we just do this again full body and now it's doing the shirt converting the shirt over to G8. I guess it doesn't really convert it over. What it's doing is it's just fitting it. So it's still a G3 item. We're just fitting it to our G8 character. Now remember, I mean, there are some differences between G3 and G8, but you know, when it comes down to it, they're very similar. And so there's a lot to this clothing item. So I just keep doing this until we get all the items fitted onto our character. What's really cool is most of the time, 
our clothing when we do this fit is going to just fit really nicely onto our character. Sometimes we get what's called poke through and when you get poke through like the skin or the undergarments or poking through the um, hair or the garment that we are placing and if that's the case there are some things that you can do for poke through I'm gonna make that my next video kind of just going through how to fix poke through like right here you can see we've got some poke through but in this case the poke through is no big deal because this is YouTube and I can't show Milica naked so I had some underwear on her a bra and panties we're just gonna hide those and see now that poke through is gone so now we've got a really nice fit for this Genesis 3 clothing it's pretty cool All right, so I'll just um, kind of move her and then let's rotate her around so you can see so you can see this is a really nice fit so even though Harley Quinn aka Haley from Daz Studio is a G3 I can add her G3 clothing to my G8 character all right now Haley also comes with hair and so I'm going to uh, go down to my Genesis 3 female um, I want to look for the hair Genesis 3 clothing hair and the hair is called swam and then it's H. Lee hair that was what comes in that bundle that you can get super cheap right now so I am going to take off Milica's ponytails her normal hair we're just gonna hide them and you know maybe she's going to a cosplay or it's Halloween so she's dressing as Harley Quinn so I'm gonna just add the Harley Quinn hair to her and it's gonna give me that same auto fit for the hair so of course I'm gonna say it came from Genesis 3 female what type of item is it we're gonna say hair and I'm gonna go shoulder length because it's got those little ponytails and then hit accept and it's gonna fit the hair to Milica all right so now we can change the color of her hair I'm gonna select this Lee hair and I kind of like that um, Margot Robbie Harley Quinn look and so we're gonna kind of make that so we want some purple hair uh, of course I'm in eye rays so we're gonna do half color let's give her a blue side all right all right now I can zoom out and you can see that we've converted these G3 items to our G8 character pretty cool now that Haley G3 character if we go back to her um, she is gonna be under my characters under G3 and her name is Haley FWSA there she is and so we've got um, Haley what's really cool is we can also add Haley's texture to Milica and it's gonna just convert the G3 texture right to our G8 character and then we can add any of those makeup or tattoos that the original Harley Quinn had so I don't have those tattoos obviously for the G8 Milica character so we're gonna have to add the Harley Quinn textures to Milica so I'm just gonna select Milica and this is super easy I'm just gonna hit the Haley base mat and it just converts the G3 right to G8 it they match really well and so then I can go in to makeup now I can add any of the Harley Quinn makeup I want to Milica so she's going all out she redid her makeup all right so you can see this is a really good prop I mean it's for G3 but 
it's got some great things like I can uh, make her have some pretty cool looking fingernails and all kinds of stuff so here are the tattoo layers so you know Harley Quinn kind of has tattoos all over her we can add those you know if I'm Milica and I'm cosplaying I'm gonna add those tattoos to my cosplay to make make me fit in maybe win a contest or something there's also a dirt layer that we could add to make uh, her look dirty. A couple dirt layers, it looks like. And Alrighty, so, so this character, Haley, came with a bat. And it's a bat that's designed for Genesis 3. So if I just look it up, um, if this was a Genesis 3 character, we could just add it right to our character and she'd be holding it. Unfortunately, posing a G3 to G8 just doesn't work very well. So I'm going to add this to her uh, right hand. And so we're going to add this prop, but it's just not going to fit. See, it just kind of pops in next to her. So I'm going to add its texture, eye ray texture. And what we want to do is we want to turn it into a smart prop. Now, I have shown you how to do this on a different video, but let's just do it again. So I'm going to pose the bat where I want it in her hand. And I've already kind of uh, searched for a hand pose that I like. And uh, I found a hand pose for G8 that I'm using here. But we're going to get this into her hand so it looks like she's holding it. Now it's parented to her right hand. So see if I go and right click on the baseball bat, it is parented to Milika's right hand. It's just that it was trying to pose with a G3 instead of a G8. So now we have it in the correct spot and I'm gonna save this as a smart prop. So I'm going to select it and then I want to show a picture of it being in her hand. So I'm just kind of kind of raise it up and we're going to zoom into the bat and show it in her right hand on the screen. All right, then I'm going to make sure I have the bat selected. I'm going to come up to file, save as going to come down to support asset and then go to figure prop assets click on that and it gives me a name and in my other tutorial I made those dungeon tools that Milica was holding so what I'm going to do on this one is I'm just going to create a new folder and we're going to name it uh, Harley Quinn bat all right so I'm going to hit Harley Quinn bat, we're going to select it, and then I've got the bat, and let's just name it uh, G8, because it's a Genesis 8 uh, right hand bat, and I'm just going to hit enter and then it comes up with this screen I'm not too worried about the screen I'm just gonna hit accept and it saved it now remember to find our prop we're just gonna come up to our DAS studio formats go to my library go to figures and see it'll be right there so when I select the Harley Quinn bat boom there it is so now see if I take this, I delete it, I can click on Milica, hit the bat, and it comes right back. So I just made a smart prop. Now this is a smart prop for G8. So I just turned my G3 bat into a G8. Pretty cool. Now Milica looks like she's ready to go cosplaying as Harley Quinn. So let's set up a scene and we'll render it out. Let's see what she looks like. 
Okay, so I have my scene set up. I just added Milica to an alley, put her in a pose, and uh, she's all ready to be rendered. Now, before I render, I want to let you know that really the biggest problem with converting G3 to G8 are the poses. And our Haley character, that, that Genesis 3 character that we're using to add to Milica, that bundle came with poses, but you're not going to be able to really use them. You know, when we try and pose a Genesis 8 character with a Genesis 3 pose, we often have a lot of distortion. And so it just doesn't work very well. To give you an example of this, if I zoom out and I select Milica, we can find those poses that came with our bundle. And it is called Comic Villain. So if we click on it, see this is the Harley Quinn poses. We can't really use them, unfortunately, with Genesis 8. So, you know, like if you like this pose, you can see in the details it's a Genesis 3 pose. So when we click on it, we get some really funky things. And that's because the Genesis 8 skeleton is not the same as the Genesis 3. And so we just get this very odd, you know, contorted pose. So what I ended up doing was I just posed my Genesis 8 to get my scene ready. I posed it, here she is, with a Genesis 8 pose. So you're going to unfortunately not be able to use your poses. The poses are really the only thing that just doesn't work when we're doing our conversions. But I really like this. I think this looks good. Milika is ready to do some cosplay. So let's render this up and see what it looks like. Okay, everyone, so I created a few renders of Milica posing as Harley Quinn. I hope you liked this video and you found it a little bit helpful. Uh, at least it may have showed you that you can use your Genesis 3 materials on our Genesis 8 characters. I wish that uh, Genesis 9 worked as well. Uh, some do, some don't. But play around, let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment or two, and let me know what you're thinking. Until next time, have a wonderful day.